This is a quick video on freestyle. There's a, on this particular thread, some people were asking what happened to it. And as was suggested on some of the replies, it can be found under the surfacing section of the ribbon under the modeling tab. It should be under style. If it's not there, then um, definitely need to look at your licensing or something because my understanding is the, the core Creo parametric license comes with freestyle free by default. So I don't believe you need an extra, some kind of extra app or extension that you must have uh, already in your possession to get access to this. It should be available with all Creole parametric standard licenses. Now in the hands of someone that knows what they're doing, freestyle can be an extremely powerful way to kind of prototype something really fast. Uh, industrial designers will probably go to town with this thing. Uh, I am not one of those users. In fact, I barely know how to even manipulate anything in freestyle, but I have been playing with it. Um, you can start with different primitives. The idea is it's the standard subdivisional modeling uh, like you would find in 3D Studio or Maya. Uh, you can extrude uh, and add another subdivision. Um, and just like you would in some of those other programs, you can uh, add, add the, whatever face you're highlighting, you can add a subdivision in that direction. The arrows will allow you to manipulate, um, manipulate that surface. You can also manipulate corners. Uh, you can also rotate and if you right click you also get access to all the same tools you see on the ribbon such as you know obviously in this case extrude um, you can do some pretty amazing things uh, once you know what you're doing with it uh, I saw a demonstration of this at the PTC live event in Las Vegas uh, from one of PTC's top guys and I'll tell you what in the hands of the right person uh, I can see a lot of power uh, in this tool uh, everything that I know about this so far has been just me playing with it. Um, but one of the things that you'll you'll notice it tries to well I guess it does maintain um, G3 type surfaces uh, when you're manipulating um, uh, anything in freestyle. So if I was to twist this, you know it'll twist it and it'll keep it'll maintain the G3 surfaces. So I think it's pretty powerful. Again, um, I don't know how to use it very well, but I am planning to learn how to use it if uh, PTC releases some kind of training course on it. Uh, I plan on taking it. it looks, this looks like some kind of a really bad submarine design. But um, because I see some practical uses for it, uh, especially when people want to throw some ideas very quickly on the screen. Um, when you hit check mark, it does show up as a standard feature, so you could use it in conjunction with a parametric modeler, standard parametric modeler, uh, a model I should say. Um, so there's freestyles located there. I uh, don't know how to use it very well, uh, but I do plan on learning how to use it. Uh, I think it's a pretty powerful tool, and I also think it's cool the PTC threw it in there, um, just as a you know as a bonus. So with that, hope that helped.